Libya's foreign minister has slammed NATO for its cynical actions in Libya during an interview with Russian television. Sergei Lavrov said the alliance's tactic of bombing the country until Colonel Gaddafi steps down has inflicted too many unjustified civilian deaths. Artis Peter Oliver has been following what Lavrov had to say. Right, uh, hi, Peter. So uh, Russia is uh, sticking firmly to its stance, isn't it, with its criticism that NATO keeps uh, breaching the UN resolution on Libya? Well, indeed, we heard from a very vocal Sergei Lavrov today, um, really criticizing what he sees as the essential mission creep of um, the ongoing outside I intervention into the Libyan situation. Now, he drew comparisons between what's happening in Libya and the bombing of the former Yugoslavia, in fact, saying that the, uh, the bombing campaign by NATO against Colonel Gaddafi has actually gone on far longer than the bombing campaign that was conducted against against parts of the former Yugoslavia. It's obvious that politics is a cynical matter. We hear from the Western capitals that the bombing should go on until Gaddafi backs off, but the human cost of these political statements is very high. Well, it wasn't just uh, Libya that was on the agenda for Sergei Lavrov to speak about. He also um, brought up Syria. Now, in Syria, he was saying, he, well, drew the conclusion which he sees as the um, a, a somewhat lack of continuity when it comes to the Western powers deciding who they're going to intervene on behalf of. Um, of course, um, we're looking at uh, the situation between Syria, where they are, there is an opinion that people should be involved, foreign countries should be involved and Yemen, which seems to go uh, without notice in Syria. Um, he did say that he was concerned that the focus seems to be wholly on the, um, the Assad government and how to just get rid of them. It is unacceptable that the opposition should resort to violence, provoking peaceful protesters to join acts of violence and therefore making them a target for police or security forces. Sergei Lavrov there speaking about the ongoing situation in the Arab world. Now, Peter, uh, earlier this week, the Russian city of Sochi was hosting NATO's leading officials, where uh, both sides once again discussed the issue of the missile defense project in Europe. Uh, it didn't bring either side any closer, though. Uh, so what did Lavrov have to say about that today? Well, this situation has been ongoing for years now. Sergei Lavrov had to say that um, the, well, as it stands at the moment, if... Uh, if the West was uh, and NATO were willing to allow Russia to be part of developing this um, this anti-missile defence shield, then Russia was willing to lend its help. However, it seems that um, the powers that be that are wanting to implement this anti-missile defence shield aren't willing to provide Russia with any um, any legal uh, any, anything written down on paper. Essentially, they will say that it won't be used to, against Russia. Now. This is where Russia really gets into its uh, negotiating, um, negotiating pattern, as it were, with the, the main players behind this anti-missile defence shield, which is the United States. And um, Mr Lavrov went on to say in this uh, interview that he gave to Russian television that um, he, he thought that there was too much reliance upon dealing with the United States. The idea of a European missile shield belongs to Washington, and right now there is a process underway in NATO to join this U.S.-run global project. Europe can only make a minor contribution, adding some second-tier details. Therefore, our key partner in the negotiations is Washington. Oh, a busy day for Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, a triple header, as you will, of, um, of issues that he brought up today in an interview with Russian television.